In a suburban nature park, only yards from a casino and hard rock cafe, a silent predator lurked in nearby water. An ambush predator, opportunistic and indiscriminate, a giant among reptiles. Shikuza Matsuki, a small-framed Japanese woman, didn't stand the chance against the 12-foot giant. As locals witness her three dogs barking furiously at the water, one of them sporting a gash along its side, the suspicious-looking alligator lies perfectly still, just feet from the bank. Shikuza is nowhere to be seen. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. It was June 8, 2018. A normal Friday morning for 47-year-old Shizuka Matsuki. Her husband was away in Chicago on business, and her son working in New York. Shortly after getting up, Shizuka pulled on her workout clothes and headed out with her three dogs. She was an active mom. She enjoyed the outdoor lifestyle that Florida offered, with its warm tropical climate, its beautiful coastline, and large freshwater lakes. Shikuza and her husband Yukio had moved to Florida from Japan in 1996. They had a son in plantation and had made a life for themselves there. She was a small woman, but with a huge heart. She opened her doors to anyone and everyone. She enjoyed cooking and her son's friends who came to visit never left hungry. Her name means serenity in Japanese, and that's exactly how she lived her life, with a peacefulness that embraced all who knew her. Shikuza adored animals. She rescued iguanas caught out during cold spells, taking them inside her home and warming them up under heat lamps. She rescued turtles that wandered from their lakes and onto busy roads. She loved her three rescue dogs, Junior, Paco, and Momo, one of them rescued as a stray from the Everglades. Each morning, Shikuza would take her dogs for a walk in Davies Wolf Lake Park, enjoying the fresh air and the sounds of nature. Walking in the sunshine each morning beside the lakes and ponds of her home community, her dogs often jumped into the water to cool off. Everyone's dogs did. But recently there'd been a warning from wildlife officials. An alligator measuring seven feet long had been seen in the neighborhood near Shikuza's house. It had been seen sunning itself on the banks and had even been found on someone's front porch. A bad omen, perhaps. An email was sent out to locals to warn them of the dangers of the wildlife in the area, and there were reports that the park was closed on this particular morning. So, instead, Shikusa headed to Silver Lakes Rotary Park, southeast of Fort Lauderdale. She had walked in this nature reserve before. Locals had often seen her and her husband strolling around the two bodies of water within the reserve, but Yukio had warned his wife not to go to Silver Lakes without him. He didn't like the area. He didn't trust the people. Once before, Shikuza had been shouted at by one of the residents, telling her to go back home to Japan before trying to run over one of her dogs in their BMW. But it turns out it wasn't the people that she needed to be wary of this time. It was something else. A 12-foot alligator lay submerged in the lake, its nostrils and eyes protruding through the surface. Patiently, it waited silently, without moving a muscle. It watched as Shikuza and her three dogs walked closer to the water's edge. The dogs splashed about in the shallows as they neared the undetected alligator. A rope swing hung from an overhanging branch, enticing children to take a dip in the lake. The water's surface was still and calm. Nobody knows exactly what happened next. Nobody knows for sure. But in an instant, Shikuza was dragged into the water by the large alligator. Nobody heard her shout or scream. Maybe she knelt down beside the water to tie her shoelace. Maybe she paused to watch her dogs or marvel at the surrounding nature. Or perhaps the alligator made a lunge at one of the dogs and she jumped to the rescue. Whatever happened, it was a rapid and devastating end for the young mother. She was dragged underwater, pulled from her feet. She didn't stand a chance when she was held within the grip of the mighty reptile's jaws. Within seconds, she would have been taken underwater. She would have been held down until her lungs gave out. A terrible and sad end for someone so full of life. Just minutes after Shikuza disappeared from sight, a passerby heard a commotion. Three dogs were frantically barking near the lake. Two were beside a single car in the car park, and a third stood by the lakeside. The man, known only as Rich, called 911. 
He had seen a lady walking her dogs around the lake, and she had disappeared. Then his heart leapt as he saw an ominous shadow in the water. Upon closer inspection, he noticed that it was the resident 12-foot alligator. It was lying perfectly still. Shikuza was nowhere to be seen. The one dog that stayed by the water was barking furiously at the lake. The dogs had witnessed the attack. They had seen their owner pulled into the water. One of them had a large gash across its side and the back of its thigh. Had the dog tried to protect Shikuza, or was it the other way around? Had she rescued the dog from being taken? Police arrived on the scene shortly after 9.45 a.m. Officers and wildlife officials from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission caught the suspicious-looking alligator and killed it. When they opened it up, their suspicions were realized. Inside there was an arm, a distinctive arm, that of Shakuza sporting her unique tattoo. It was devastating news for her family and a shock for the community. Throughout the rest of the day, a search for the rest of Shakuza took place. At around 10 p.m. that night, her body was found in the lake. It seems that Shakuza was in the wrong place at the wrong time. If it hadn't been her who was taken, then maybe it would have been someone else. Locals knew there was an alligator in the water and still walked their dogs there. They just knew to be careful and never to let their dogs off the leash. A local reported seeing a seven-foot alligator in one of the lakes earlier that week, and another resident lost her poodle at Christmas time, suspected of being eaten by an alligator. Following her death, more than 300 mourners turned up at Shakuza's funeral, a testament to how well-loved she was and how missed she will be. Her son, Katana, was in New York working in the fashion industry at the time of his mother's death. He moved back to Florida to be with his father, and the two were working hard to keep Shikuza's memory alive. With her love for animals, she had always said that if she ever had time or the money, she would set up an animal shelter. Through raising funds, they aimed to open a shelter to help those animals most in need. A fitting memory for such a caring individual.